When most people think of light sport aircraft, they usually think of something like this. However, there are some changes going through the legislative process with the FAA that might mean a light sport aircraft might one day include something like this. This is a Cessna 182, and one day soon you might be able to fly this under the light sport aircraft rules. The process by which a federal agency like the FAA proposes new regulation or legislation involves several steps. The first step for our purposes is the agency will file a text of the proposed rule. This text can be anywhere from a couple pages to thousands of pages, depending upon how complicated the new rule proposed is. There is then a period where interested parties can file comments suggesting changes, saying it's a great idea or saying it's a horrible idea. The time period for these proposed comments is usually 90 days, but can be extended, which this one was. The comment period for this rule just recently expired in January of 2024. After the comment period extinguishes, then the agency drafts the final rule and it works through the legislative process until it's signed into law. Keep in mind this process can take years. The current rule we're talking about here is called MOSAIC. What MOSAIC stands for is Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certificates. In other words, what they're doing is they're proposing a set of changes to the light sport aircraft rules. I know I did another video a while back on the light sport aircraft rules, but just as a quick reminder, the rules we're talking about in this legislation today affect the proposed gross weight, the stall speed, whether or not you can have a fixed or ground adjustable propeller or a constant speed propeller, or retractable gear, and the top speed allowed. While the new Mosaic rule does recommend the top speed for LSA be increased to 250 knots, a bigger difference is made in the increase in the allowable stall speed for light sport aircraft. The Mosaic rule proposes that light sport aircraft be allowed to have a stall speed of 54 knots, clean or lower. So what type of aircraft have a clean stall speed of less than 54 knots? Well, for one, the Vans RV7, also, the most popular airplane ever built, the Cessna 172, and the Cessna 182 all fit into that category. It is interesting to note here that a Piper 140 with a clean stall speed of 64 miles an hour, that equates to 55.7 knots, and thus it would not be a light sport aircraft. And since you just saw a picture of a 182, yes, the new Mosaic rule does allow for controllable pitch propellers on light sport aircraft. Also included in the 300 pages is an increase to 3,000 pounds in the gross weight, the allowable use of retractable gear, and a limitation of four seats, yet still only two passengers. Now this is where it all starts to get confusing and somewhat complicated and arbitrary. For instance, the new rules would allow flying a Cutlass 172, but would not allow a Piper Aero because the saw speed is too high. You would presumably be able to fly an early model Bonanza as long as you had a model with four seats and under a 3,000 pound gross weight, yet eventually the models divided into greater than 3,000 pounds and greater than four seats. I will let you go through with the Wikipedia page and the hundreds of versions of the Beach Bonanza and determine which one you could fly under light sport and which ones you could not. AOPA filed a list of recommendations during the comment period to include such changes as increasing the stall speed to 58 knots to get the whole Piper Cherokee line in and also allow four passengers if you have an airplane with four seats. After all, it doesn't make any sense that a Piper Aero would not be allowed, a Piper Cherokee 140 would not be allowed, yet a 182 or an early Beach Bonanza would. Any way you look at it, these suggestions are a way to move forward and get more airplane into light sport, which is good for everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit like and keep flying.